Beatrice has some 20 cent and 50 cent coins. Two thirds of the total value of the 20 cent coins is the same as half of the total value of the 50 cent coins. If Beatrice spent four 50 cent coins, the value of the 20 cent coins and the value of the remaining 50 cent coins will be the same. How many 20 cent coins does Beatrice have? According to the second sentence, two thirds of the total value of the 20 cent coins is the same as half of the total value of the 50 cent coins. Now, you have to take note that it's actually referring to value. So, let's draw the model. So, in terms of value, which means money, the 20 cent coins, two thirds of it has got the same value as the 50 cent coins, which is half of the 50 cent coins. So if we are to complete the model, the 20 cent coins should have 3 units, while the 50 cent coins should have another 1 big unit. Since 1 big unit is equivalent to 2 small units, we can cut it into half. If Beatrice spent 4 50 cent coins, the value of the 20 cent coins and the value of the remaining 50 cent coins will be the same. Now, looking at the model, we realize that um, the, this is in terms of value. So that is to say that we need to spend away this unit in order for them to be the same. And that is to say, this is actually equivalent to 4 times of a 50 cent coins, which means that this value is $2. So, once again, we need to remind ourselves that this is a model that is based on value, which means that one unit is actually equivalent to $2. Therefore, for a 20 cent coins, I have a total value of $2 times 3, which is equal to $6. So the question is asking how many 20 cent coins. So they're asking for the number of 20 cent coins. So what we need to do is just six dollars divided by 20 cents and that will give us 30 coins